My name is Karen Gingery, and I'm at um, the Wellness Complete Wellness Center at um, 20 and Anytime Fitness. They were there just giving demonstrations. And I had mentioned I had a shoulder problem, so I made an appointment two weeks later. And when we were going over my original scans and all, um, Dr. Sonoa had said that I could possibly get back my sense of smell. And I just kind of laughed inside about it because I haven't been able to really smell since I was about 20, which was 30 something years ago. And um, after my second adjustment, my daughter and I were going out of town and I started smelling this kind of sweet minty smell and asked her if she smelt it. And she said no, and she said she was chewing gum. So right away I knew that was her gum I was smelling. And since that time, I've just been picking up more and more smells. And now I mean, I just walk outside and I smell flowers, and, um, which is really neat because I haven't smelled in so long. And even when I'm cooking now, I can smell my food cooking, which is really neat, and my coffee brewing. Um, and and, and I, I don't, how, how long was it that, that you haven't been able to smell, or that you haven't sensed any smell? It's been about 32 years. I was about 20. Wow. Since I've really been able to smell, unless it was real strong, like right on, just under my nose, then I could smell it. But it would be very faint. It wouldn't be like, like you could take rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab and stick it under my nose and how it's real strong. I would just barely smell it. So, um, so what what option were you were you given for this, this smell? I mean, did did anybody give you any solutions or, or um, about 20, 25, 26 years ago, a doctor wanted to go in and scrape my sinuses and said that might help it, but I know it wouldn't because I've known too many people that have sinus surgeries that didn't help, not with sense of smell, but just infections and stuff because I had a lot of sinus infections and ear infections and stuff like that, and that was part of the main reason he was wanting to do that, but I just said I said no. Uh, it was too painful. <laughs> I'm not to do it. So. So then you just never really found an answer for it. Never, no, never did find an answer why I lost my sense of smell. Um, anything that might could help it. So and I never dreamed chiropractic would <laughs> care would. Right. I mean, it's really it's been really fun, wild. <laughs> so so after those first two weeks, that's you know, just you started to regain some smell. Then. Yeah, just started regaining smell and. Uh, when I smelled the chicken farm, I didn't know if I wanted to get it back or not, because <laughs> that was awful. I mean, that was just the worst thing. I mean, but um, just like today, something was burning around where I work, and I could actually smell the burning smell that most people smell when something's like woods are burning or a house or something is burning. Um, I just usually would just see the smoke and know something was burning. I didn't I never smell it, so. So as far as, you know, for, for somebody out there who, who maybe thinks there's, there's something that they typically wouldn't think about chiropractic um, that could help them, I mean, what, what would you say? I mean, I mean um, just regarding smell. Oh, I would just tell them just to come on in. I mean, um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, she's got a lot on her plate right now. And, I mean, I've even encouraged her to come here. And she has a lot of allergies and sinus problems also. And... Um, I mean, even at night, like when I lay down, I breathe, I breathe through my nose a lot better. Um, so I've encouraged her to come here, and she's going to be coming here also to see if maybe it can't help with her allergies and, um, and you know, just some other health issues that she has. So and I'm getting all my grandkids to come in here because one granddaughter's pigeon-toed, and I want to see if maybe that could help it versus when she gets in her teens then breaking her hips. And then I have a two-year-old grandson that's been complaining with chronic lower back pain. I mean, just about every day or every other day, he tells his mom, you know, his back, lower back hurts, and she's taking him to doctor after doctor, and they're just like, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. It's just growing pains, and a two-year-old shouldn't be in, in chronic back pain. So I'm literally probably get my whole family in here to try, try chiropractic here to see if, you know, they can get rid of allergies and stuff. And so how, how is, your, is your shoulder going? It's doing good. I can now like lift it up to back here. I couldn't even lift it up at all this way. I can only get it out about to here. But now I can like lift it up to here and I can bring it back here. You can scratch the back of my neck a little. I can almost wash my hair with both hands again. <laughs> so, but it's I've got good getting better with the range of motion going around like this. And so it's doing a lot better. I mean a lot, you know, me noticing just other differences. Um, <clears throat> 
and not to be gross or anything, but after about the set, the about a week and a half of adjustments, and it was after all this happened that my the, I noticed the sense of smell was even stronger. Was all of a sudden I could start got just like real congested, and I called to cancel my appointment because I was running a little bit of fever and had this crud coming up. And Christy told me, "Oh no, you get in here, he'll want to adjust you to help get it, you know, continue getting it out." And um, you loaded me up on vitamin C and echinacea, and I mean, within two, three days, I was feeling so much better versus if I'd have, usually I just run to the doctor and get on an antibiotic, and I mean, it would, you know, be a week before I'd feel half as good as I felt just in three days of just being on the vitamin C and echinacea. So then my daughter got sick this weekend, I started pumping her with <laughs> vitamin C and echinacea too, so. But um, I would just, just recommend anybody that if they've tried, you know, other forms of, of medical care and nothing seems to be helping, just, just try chiropractic care because it, it's really helped me a lot. So.